Hey guys, so it is the video. It's the video that you guys have all been waiting for. Probably not, but it's a video that I've been waiting for and I'm committed to college, so I'm really excited. So right now I'm gonna head to a grocery store to buy some cupcakes. I'm so excited, so let's go. So here's the cupcakes that I got first. Voila. First you're gonna put Clemson down in the cupcake. <laughs> okay, hey guys, so now we are into the college reveal portion. So basically I didn't print every single school out that I got into because honestly, I didn't care about every single school if i'm being really honest no offense i'm going to go over the stuff that i was looking for in a school my criteria and then we'll get on into the elimination the first thing that's on this spreadsheet is the size so how large is the student body personally i wanted to go to a pretty big school i didn't want to go to a massive school like 50,000 students but i definitely wanted to go to a school with a lot of students next i did consider rankings Rankings wasn't something that I heavily considered. Like, oh my gosh, I have to go to like a top 25 school, top 20. Like that wasn't something that was necessarily on my like criteria as if like I had to go to a top school. But I did consider the academic reputation and the reputation of the school. We live in a very elitist society where that's just how things are. Um, and then I also took into consideration financial aid. So how much money did they give me? How much is the cost of attendance and how much loans i have to take out next is diversity diversity doesn't just mean how many people of color how many black people do they have but what resources um opportunities do they have for their black students and for people of color on campus next was the city so where was the school if it was out of state you were immediately a homie um and also where is it like is it a typical college town? Is it in the middle of nowhere? That was something that I definitely considered. And also the distance from home. So I live in New York City. So that's pretty up north. So how far would I have to travel and commute? Not commute. How far would I have to travel to, you know, move in and then, you know, go home for holidays, you know? Is there an airport nearby? Stuff like that. Um, next, I also considered my major. So halfway through the process, I kind of changed from pre-law to I don't know what I want to do. Um, I, I knew I applied for sociology and public policy, which is what I still want to do with it. But I don't know what I want to do post-grad. So that made me definitely consider more so the opportunities at each school. And it kind of made me realize a little bit different now that I don't want to go the pre-law route. So kind of my priorities definitely changed because there might be a possibility that I might go straight into the workforce after I graduate. And the last thing that I considered was school spirit. So I really wanted to go to a school that had great so school spirit, you know, whether it's attending footballs and basketball games and just overall the community and pride at my school. That was something that was really important to me. So now let's get into the real elimination. So the first school that I am going to eliminate is... Wrong school. I was looking for the backside accidentally, but it double-sided is Penn State. So Penn State, um, I actually really liked the school. It was actually kind of in like the middle of my list. Um, and it kind of had aspects of what I wanted my college experience, but it's really expensive, kind of in the middle of nowhere. It's had to go and it just wasn't a fit for me. Okay, hey guys. So I feel like I didn't explain what a fit means. Obviously I applied to a bunch of schools and I could only pick one. So I went by, it's not the fit for me, it's I only could go to one school. So yeah. Next, I am going to eliminate Spelman. So I absolutely loved Spelman. I loved that it was an HBCU, an all-women's college. It was in Atlanta, Georgia. And honestly, I attended one of their virtual information sessions and seeing like all the black women on my screen just generally made me so excited and kind of made me like emotional. But they gave me a penny and said make it do and make it work. Next, I am eliminating Clemson. So this one it's pretty complicated so clemson it was definitely like the middle i did like the school um it was just off feeling about clemson no offense i mean it's in south carolina it was a little off for me like i think there's probably like 70 to like 80 percent of the students are white and the things that i've heard racially about clemson haven't been good yeah i did get into the honors college and i only would have gone if i got into the honors college but also they didn't give me financial aid so 
it had to go but yeah <laughs> next i am going to eliminate boston college so actually boston college i applied on a very like i applied on a whim i applied on a whim because it's a really good school and i did like the location of it it's not like in the city but it's very accessible to boston as before i was pre-law and i'm not they don't really have my major and the financial aid they gave me a lot of money but it still wasn't enough and i just didn't think that it was a fit for me compared to the other schools that i got into but i'm extremely grateful for getting in and yeah so those are the schools that we have left ooh, ooh. okay so leftover we have tulane unc u miami uva howard and the university of georgia so the next one that i'm going to be eliminating is howard so I did like Howard, it's in DC, especially because I'm interested in like politics and government. I'm in the state's capital, so there'll be amazing opportunities for me. It is a really, really great school. My cousin goes there, I know people that go there. Um, also like the culture and like the vibe um, is really great there. The financial aid package wasn't as great as I would have hoped it would have been, but I was really excited to get into the school. And yeah, sorry I had to go. Next, I am eliminating Tulane. So for Tulane, they actually, honestly, they were probably the cheapest school out of everyone. It's in Louisiana. And let me tell you guys so much, like, it kind of hurts me that I have to say no because their admissions office is the best. They are so nice. They are very engaging and they actually care about the students. I really, really, really feel bad that I'm not able to go. And yeah, I mean, it's a really great school and definitely follow them on TikTok. The TikToks are actually like pretty funny, but yeah. Okay. Uh, now we have our final four so the next school that i am going to eliminate is the university of miami so i actually really really like the school i love that it was in miami warm weather great city very vibrant city but it was really expensive and i just didn't like feel that like connection to it after i got into my top three it's a really great school and i would have loved to went there their campus is like almost like a resort but at the end of the day i had to think about like longevity and kind of the opportunities and the experience overall of what i wanted out of my college experience so sorry miami <laughs> so now we are down to my final three which i don't think it's any surprise because i went to go tour it um, you guys can definitely go check out that video. But here we have UNC, UVA, and UGA. Now let's get into a little bit of the tea. Not the tea. Let's first start with UNC. So after I got into UNC, I was really excited, especially two days after I got deferred from my dream school and I ended up getting waitlisted by Michigan. So it was almost like I was like ready to commit to the school. And then probably like a week later, I got into UVA and then things kind of shook up um but with unc i absolutely loved the school it was one of my top choices going into this entire process they have my major they have honestly pretty unique majors and minors so if i want to you know branch out try new things that's great all of their um programs are top ranked so no matter what i study i know that i'll be getting a great education and have great resources the school spirit being a tar heel carolina blue all that the football basketball games etc and i also toured i loved chapel hill it was very like modern and i really really liked the area and the proximity to campus and there's a target <laughs> which i'm wrong clowns me for thinking that i only like it because they have target but yeah i was just going to talk about the university of georgia so uga so UGA was actually my number two school, then I got to fur, then I bumped down to like number four. But I really did like UGA. I just loved the school spirit. Athens was honestly really, really nice. It felt very like homey. I loved the campus. It was honestly probably my favorite campus out of all three of them. They also have the double dogs program where I can receive my bachelor's, my master's in sociology, and then public, I think policy or public administration, something like that. But yeah actually funny story um i didn't see my financial aid package because i couldn't log in but if i'm being honest i honestly didn't really care <laughs> okay moving on now we lastly have the university of virginia so uva um 
Oh, why is my the icing on my fingers? For UVA, I honestly, it wasn't one of my top schools coming into the process, but after I got in, I did a lot more research and I honestly kind of fell in love with the school. They have an accelerated public policy program in which I can receive my bachelor's or master's in public policy within five years, which was something that was appealing to me. The only con is I would have to apply into the public policy school. So there is a possibility that I do not get in. I honestly really love the campus. I didn't get to see much of like the corner and Charlottesville in general, but I definitely did really like Virginia in its entirety. Um, and honestly, it was really hard because UVA and UNC are very similar very similar very similar in rankings very similar just across the board they're obviously different but the differences kind of add up to make them similar in the same way does it make any sense so the next school that i'm going to be eliminating is uga um and so before i did my financial aid package but i didn't really care um yeah but i'm really like i'm like ugh, i wanted to be a dog for so long and i have family in georgia like probably like an hour away so if anything happened i can always rely on my family or anything like that but at the end of the day i just had to really think about what i truly wanted and kind of which school would be a better fit for me um and for my future sorry i'm running out of space to put the cupcakes now we're down to my final two as i said before they are very similar so I appealed my financial aid package for both schools. I think I made a mistake for UVA's and I never heard back. Okay guys, so I actually did hear back from UVA about like three days ago and they said that they will not be giving me more aid or they can't. So I made a great choice. But that's what happened. At the end of the day, I just had a gut feeling that was leaning me towards one school. And that school is... UNC. <laughs> I'm gonna be a Tar Heel. It's crazy because, like, in January, the end of January, I was like, yeah, like, I'm going to UNC. I bought a sweatshirt. I was like, kind of like low key committed in my heart. Um, and then I started getting into more schools and hearing back, and then my perspective kind of changed. And I was like, okay, like, let me wait, let me hear back. And it's kind of crazy that I will be a Tar Heel in the fall. I submitted my deposit, I'm getting to know people, and I'm really excited. Oh my gosh, I'm going to be a Tar Heel. I'm going to grow up in Carolina Blue, and I'm going to be in Chapel Hill. Um, Yeah, so kind of the process. So as I said before, I ap appeal my financial aid. <sighs> Initially, honestly, UNC was definitely very more accommodating, and they it felt a lot more like they cared about me which may seem very like silly but with uva it was kind of like a very generic email like hey the award set in stone but if you want to appeal here's the form you know but for unc they recognized my situation and they also checked out my financial aid and realized that i made a mistake um so they helped me correct that mistake as well and they did appeal my financial aid and they gave me a lot more aid so my advice is if you have a dream school and it's really expensive, appeal your financial aid. Um, so they fixed that. So basically on Wednesday, I officially committed. Um, I forgot what day, I think it was like a Thursday. Um, I think they emailed me back because I was asking when can I expect to hear from them because I didn't want to see my deposit and not see my financial figure. They said that, oh, like you might not get it back until after May 1st. So I was like, ugh after may first you know but literally later that night i got it and i was so excited because the cost went down dr not drastically but a lot and it's affordable to an extent like my parents want to chip away at the cost it will make a difference and i won't take out as much loans so i'm really excited to be going to unc um <laughs> i've been reaching out to people if you go to unc or if you're going to UNC, UNC 225, and do you want to be my roommate or my friend, reach out to me because I'm trying to find a roommate and trying to find some friends. So definitely reach out to me. But I'm so excited to be gone at UNC. Okay, so sorry. I'm going to be a Tar Heel. I'm going to be a Tar Heel. I'm 
gonna be a tutorial. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I know it was kind of long and like all over the place, but see you guys in my next video. Bye guys. Ah,